Right, right, guys, this is my old camera, because as you know, we have trouble with the Jag and the SS because they're so loud with the audio with my new camera. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, we're just starting the day off. Today, we've got a big day. We've got the SS50 out again. Um, we're going to get this thing started, test out this camera for the audio, see if you can actually hear what these cars sound like because they're so loud. We're going to take the SS50 to wash it. We're going to go to the workshop, paint a bit more of the horse float. We're going to flop the dash for the courier. That'll be in another video, though and then we're gonna polish the SS, and then we've gotta go up to Harvey Bay to a house that I have to renovate. So we're gonna do a bit of a road trip today, but first off, we will try and get this Jag to go and see if the audio is any better. So in theory, it should start up for us. I'm not gonna be driving it, we'll just get it going and see if you can actually hear what she is like. So here we go, cross your fingers guys. jump in the SS50. I'll grab that off my good lovely wife. Rightio. So yeah, we've got the SS50 out the front. Since I got this back from the um, painters, it never got polished or anything or really washed. I fitted some front tyres up to it this week because it always had a shake in the front end. He said they balanced up all right, but these wheels were just wheels I sort of got by default with another deal that I'd done, but I do quite like them. Okay, so um, hopefully there's no shake in the front end anymore, but if there is we're gonna have to get some more wheels, which will be good So you can see she's dirty and filthy. So we're gonna um, go give her a wash and you can see the swirl in the paint We're gonna give her a full hand polish Okay, and then we're gonna head up to Harvey Bay and hopefully there's no shake in the front end If there is shake in the front end that means we get to buy new wheels, which let's hope there's a shake in the front end I suppose. All right guys, we're gonna get moving and um, I'll give you some updates along the way That didn't go too well. We um, made it down the road and lost the clutch altogether. So it does, the clutch slave on this has been a bit funny for a while. And um, yeah, so it's, um, I think the fluid <coughs> got down too low. I've just started pumping it up then and it seems to have started pumping up. So we might be able to take it today anyway, but that's sort of why I'm gonna take it for a bit of a run before um, I register it. Cause there's no point in registering it and then having to have it off the road for a month trying to fix everything so that'll be on the list so we're going to do this power steering um, rack in it and we'll have to do a clutch slave as well which is a pain on these LS's because it's in the um, actually in the bell housing so we get stuck in now try and get this clutch to pump up if I can get it to start actuating and working we'll still take it today to see if we're going to have any more issues but um, I'm just starting to get a pedal back now so we should be all right all right yeah, all right guys got over the workshop i gave this a tub on the way you can probably see i don't know if you can see the swirl in this in the see how the roof's not as shiny as it could be and just where he's buffed the top there it just never got hand polished so i never got time to redo it so i'm gonna do that okay so we're gonna give that a hand polish before we head up north okay but i want to get some more paint on this horse float it actually come up all right like i'm pretty happy with it she's only a roughie but It'll be all right. The sides come up pretty good. The roof, I've got a few runs in it. I'm gonna try and paint some more inside there, okay? 
and yeah but it didn't come up too bad she's going to be quite a tidy thing i'm going to put an awning on the side of it okay yeah i'm going to put an awning on the side of the horse float so it's um you know you've got your horses and you've got an awning i'm going to put a water carter thing on it like a big tube pvc tube with a tap on it and i'm going to put some place where you can put a bale of hay so that my horse floats uh they're like you'd own them you know what i mean like it's not just going to be a higher trailer because high trails are just shit. i'm not i do not want to provide a product that's just rubbish same as my um the car trails that are coming they're going to have a good winch tilting you know just like the best trailer you can have that you'd own yourself but you'll be able to hire it so i just hope people look after the stuff with the effort we're going to put in but yeah so the horse float's going to be a good one i hope but anyway we'll get stuck in get some more paint on this flock that dash polish that ute and then get to go for a drive so it sounds good doesn't it Dino. here's the diner all right guys what have we got today for you we have the tx3 okay so what this is okay tx3 all-wheel drive turbo okay it's a black one the body's really good on this thing okay someone's half pulled it apart um but it's still in really good shape like it's got um the original momo wheels it's got like the seats in it are so nice that's the rear one there it's half pulled apart dash clusters out of it okay door trims uh yeah someone's done something ridiculous the hood liner is reasonable and there's some um holes in the boot there for, but i've got a spoiler to go on there okay so what the plan is well here's why i'm showing you the tx3 remember the other day when i mentioned to you about the um I want to build an Atlas Grey VN Ute because I can't afford to buy another VNSS. But we can build a, 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 you know, they never bought out the VNSS Ute, but why can't we have one? All right, so Atlas Grey. Um, a bloke messaged me, he's down in Brizzy. Um, he has a five litre VN Ute that's pretty tidy. I'll, um, I'll whack some photos up here so you know what we're talking about, right? So have a look at these. Righto, and um, the inside, is, you know, it, it looks okay, it's clean and tidy, but we'll have to, we'll go full SS interior, series two seats, but this is what the interior looks like now. Righto, so she's pretty tidy. The body kit that's on it, you know, um, goes, obviously, SS bars, um, the hard lid on it is the, is the right style for what I want, like, and it's got this Malu tailgate. Very undecided about running the Malu tailgate, but we'll see what we end up with. You know, um, we'll see where I can mount the two. So that's pretty cool. So five liter, it's fairly fresh. I think the auto is no good in it. He said he has to service it, which generally means it's no good, but we can, we'll put a converter in it. We'll put a shift kit in it. And yeah, and because this thing is just, it's only a VG unit, it's nothing special. It will be nice, but we can give it a hard time, which really means we can have a bit of fun on the channel. But anyway, all right, so TX3, what we're gonna do, because this thing's partly pulled apart, as you can see, okay, it is an all-wheel drive. It's got a big exhaust system and stuff on it. We are gonna get stuck in today, okay. Okay. Righto, compression tester. Because I don't know what this engine is, okay, we're gonna do a compression test on it, okay and check out exactly what it's doing in every cylinder. I have another three or four of these motors in the yard. Okay, so if that motor shot, it's not the end of the world. We just pull that out, put another one in. Um, yeah, and just put it together for him. And yeah, um, I've got to find a front bar. He'll put the interior back together. But um, yeah, I reckon we're gonna be able to do a deal. So, all right, we will follow through the process. I'll bring you guys along for the ride as always. And um, hopefully we can do a deal and get this um, VN Ute to build a VN SS Atlas Grey Ute for the channel. Um, you know, big cam, converter, shift kitted auto. Uh, might even pull the spool out of my SS, put it in that. But um, I reckon we can build something pretty cool. What do you reckon, guys? All right, we'll see how we go today. Right, eh? I've moved the Ute down here because there's, see, you can't, you shouldn't polish a car in the sunlight, but there's enough shade here that I can do that side, then turn it around. So, I don't know what you guys use to polish your cars. I, I sort of turtle wax, unpaid, but quite happy for you to sponsor me if you like. Um, I don't know, turtle wax is just something the old man always used. And it's just over the years I've used it as well. It's, it's the right price and it seems to work well. But yeah, turtle wax, yeah, hit me up. All right, um, yeah, so I'm gonna get a polishing and we'll see how she ends up. Right, 
we ended up getting her polished today. Okay, so she actually came up quite tidy. She actually presents pretty well once it's been polished. Got rid of all that swirl. But um, yeah, this is the house I've come to sort out. Yeah, what a mess. Word of advice, if you try and help a mate out by giving them work, yeah, just costs you money in the long run, doesn't it? So yeah, so my next few weekends are up here trying to get this house sorted out and ready to um, rent. But yeah, but one thing I have learned about this ute too is, geez, it's slow. So we're going to do power steering rack and exhaust. So I'm maybe thinking cam perhaps. I don't know. don't know. I don't know whether to waste money on this or build that big block um, fair lane. But anyway, yeah, we'll keep moving and go from there. But I'm happy with how the paint come up on this. Righto guys, that's me. What a day. Um, just got back from up Harvey Bayway. Uh, you went well. One of those days though. Alright, um, next videos are the Bedford van and the courier. I'm going to get stuck into um, filming and editing them over the next couple of days. So yeah, alright. Like, subscribe. You know the drill. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. And um, thanks for the support. See you.